Hey, Dr. Osborne here. Lots of you are writing in with the question pertaining to gluten and neuropathy. Does gluten cause neuropathy? Does going gluten-free help with neuropathy? Like these are the questions that keep coming in. The simple answer is yes. There are a number of research studies that show that going gluten-free is actually very helpful for people suffering with peripheral neuropathy and central neuropathy. Think diseases like cerebellar ataxia and other neurological diseases like multiple sclerosis and schizophrenia and bipolar disease and autistic spectrum disorders. Understand that one of the things that gluten has been shown to do is damage nerve tissue. There have been a number of research studies coming out of Oxford, UK uh, that show that gluten is an actual neurotoxin. But one of the other tremendous side effects of gluten for people with gluten sensitivity issues is that it causes B vitamin deficiency, especially vitamin B12. Now, vitamin B12 is very, very important because as a vitamin, its job, one of its jobs is to help you produce neurotransmitters. Some of these neurotransmitters like adrenaline and noradrenaline and acetylcholine, these are the main chemicals that your brain and your nervous system uses to communicate. And so not having adequate quantities of these neurotransmitters can lend toward neuropathic or neurological-like symptoms. But one of the other functions of vitamin B12 is it helps form the myelin, the coating, the insulating sheath around your nerve tissue. And so a lot of times what happens, a person's been gluten sensitive, they didn't realize it, they developed neuropathy, they went gluten free, and they felt better, but their neuropathy won't go away. It's still, they're still struggling with that neuropathy. It's still a problem. Understand it can take years for neuropathy to correct and it will not correct as long as that B12 deficiency is there. So important note, if you've gone, gone, gone on a gluten-free diet and your neuropathy hasn't improved at all, you know, you, obviously you wanna get your doctor to measure or test you for vitamin B12 deficiency. Very, very important. Again, B12 forms the myelin sheath around your nerves and when you start having a demyelinization effect, you can develop neuropathies, very, very painful burning neuropathies, numbness and tangling neuropathies, balance neuropathies where you lose your balance, vertigo. These are all possible with vitamin B12 deficiency. Remember, gluten is notorious for causing that B12 deficiency. So if you've gone gluten-free, you're still struggling with a nerve problem, ask your doctor to check your vitamin B12 levels, and you might just consider supplementing with a higher dose of vitamin B12 to help support your body's capacity to heal from a neuropathy. I'll put a link below. If, you, if you've got neuropathy and you don't even know whether gluten-free diet is the right place to start, I'll put a, quiz, a link to a quiz below that'll help you understand whether or not the gluten-free diet is right for you, but I'll also put a link below to a type of vitamin B12 that can be very, very helpful to support your nervous system's ability to, to regulate out. And so if you're trying to overcome that neuropathy, B12 might be the missing ingredient in the puzzle that you're trying to solve. This is Dr. Osborne wishing you excellent health. We'll see you in the next video.